They snap and we get a casserole. I love it. What's up, noobs? I'm Greener. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Okay, so today we're going to be playing a Sarah Control deck, and this one is featuring Valentina. Uh, since Sarah Control naturally has Luke Cage in it, Valentina feels like a great fit. So let's get into the deck really quick. We're running Kitty Pride in here. When this returns to your hand, plus one power, returns at the start of each turn. Uh, we're also running Angela in here, and we're running um, Hit Monkey. So Kitty Pride is really good at buffing up your Angela and spamming out on the final turn to buff up your Hit Monkey. So we are running Angela in here. After you play a card here, plus two power. So you can keep buffing this up over the course of the game with your Kitty Pride. We're running Shadow King in here. On reveal, set all cards here to their base power. Like I said, we are running Luke Cage. So you can debuff your opponent without taking a debuff yourself. We're running Jeff in here. You can move this once. Nothing can stop you from moving or playing this to any location. Just uh, one of the best cards in the game. Great at getting into locations you normally wouldn't be able to get into. Good at buffing up your Angela. And if you're against a clog deck, um, great at preventing them from clogging you up entirely. Like I said, we are running Valentina on reveal. Add a random six cost card to your hand. Give it negative two cost and negative three power. So really good to get that extra resource. Uh, Luke Cage makes it so the negative three power doesn't matter. Although there are still some crappy six drops that you can get. We're running Mysterio. After you play this, play illusions to other locations. Disguise this as an illusion until the game ends. So really good at buffing up your hit monkey. Plus, um, if you know you have a substantial amount of power in the Angela lane. You don't need the extra four. The clone can buff up Angela for a little bit of extra spice. We're running Bishop after you play a card. This gains plus one power. This is a deck that likes to spam out cards. So uh, Bishop can get pretty big. We are running Hit Monkey on reveal. Gain plus two power for each other card you played this turn. Ideally, you want to play this on turn six, right? You want a Sarah on five. Uh, hit monkey on six but if you know that you're not going to get sarah um sometimes you might have to play hit monkey out on five right with the mysterio mysterio hit monkey is a good combo we're running mobius and mobius ongoing your cards can't be increased your opponent's cards can't be reduced um this is a control deck after all and this is one of the control tools great at stopping those pesky loki decks like i said we are running luke cage ongoing your cards can't have their power reduced so you want to have like a buffed up Angela, a buff hit monkey, and then you have Luke Cage down on the board and whatever lane they've buffed up, um, you can get rid of it with Shadow King. We're running Shang-Chi as one of our other control tools on reveal destroy all enemy cards here that have 10 or more power. Um, just a solid threat removal. You play Sarah on five, Shang-Chi with a couple extra cards on six can sometimes win you the game. And then of course we are running Sarah ongoing cards in your hand cost one less. Um, one of my favorite cards of all time. I have made so many Sarah decks in the past. Just a fantastic card. If you don't have her, prioritize her because she's real good. Uh, and this meta feels like Sarah is good. Sarah falls in and out of the meta a lot. And right now, it feels like uh, Sarah's in a good place. So that's pretty much the deck. By the way, if you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy, huh? Hey, it's just a click for you. It means the world to me. All right, let's get into the games. Okay, we chill. If this Onslaught Citadel stays here, it's going to be great for Sarah. Okay, I still think we just play Angela to get her down. And then we go Luke Cage. They also have a Luke Cage, okay. And we go Jeff Kitty Pride. So we have a Shang-Chi for this death. The 
Their kitty pride's real big, though. But we have to go Sarah here. Hopefully they also don't have Sarah. <laughs> we do have Quinjet, though, and Loki. I mean, do I even compete for over here at this point? I feel like I just need to try to go everywhere, right? So we move Jeff. We play Shang-Chi. Maybe we Mysterio over here with Hitmonkey. Okay, wait. Move Jeff. The real Mysterio goes here. Then we play Shang-Chi on top of it. Hit Monkey Kitty Pride Mobius. Covers everywhere. But they are gonna play a hundred million cards. All right, let's see it. I think we just won, right? They snap and we get a casserole. I love it. Victory. Okay, Kitty Pride on one here. And we can go Valentina on two. Central Park's a bit awkward. I mean, I can go Angela Kitty Pride here and then maybe like Luke Cage Kitty Pride to avoid the squirrel clogging this lane. Okay, so we go Luke Kitty Pride. Um, we go Sarah here. I mean, Blob is just not great for our deck, right? We don't have anything big in here. Cryo. What do they play? I could play the real Mysterio here just to really try to win this lane outright. And then hit monkey mid. Actually, if I'm going to do this, we play Bishop, then Mysterio, then hit monkey kitty pride. I don't hate this. Let's see it.
I was not expecting an enchantress, but we didn't use, um, what's his name anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. And we get a casserole. Let's go. Okay, let's go with uh, Kitty Pride here. And then we go Angela. I wanted to put uh, Jeff Kitty Pride here this turn, but maybe this turn we go Mobius since they have Ravona. Do I play Luke Cage here? So I kind of want to get Jeff down too. Yeah, I think maybe this is fine. Then we can kitty pro uh, Sarah next turn. Well, I don't love that. But let's go Sarah here. Okay, do we just go Shadow King? Wait, we go Bishop, Shadow King, Jeff. Keep up. Uh, is it better to go Kit Hit Monkey or Kitty Pride? I guess it's more power. I mean, it's, I guess it's the same. Well, it's a little bit more power for the bishop if I go Valentina Kitty Pride. Am I spreading my power too thin here, though, you know? Whatever, let's see it. I don't love that. I am Iron Man. But not enough. Shadow King wins the day. Victory. Okay, let's chill here. I mean, we can deal with that late game with uh, Shadow King if they don't play Cosmo there or anything. So we can go Valentina mid. The question is, do I want to play Living Tribunal, right? Um... Guess we can go Luke Cage over here. Maybe if we build up Nidavellir really big, uh, Living Tribunal won't be so bad. Hmm. Getting Shadow King hit by Iceman's not so great. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we go Living Tribunal here. Need to get Sarah off the top, though. Let's 
such is my judgment. And we did not get Sarah off the top. Okay, well, let's go. Maybe we go Shadow King now. We go Mysterio Shadow King. Or, I mean, it doesn't matter the order. Arnim Zola? Oh, that's awkward. Out of all of the cards it could have hit, right? I mean, my best shot here is... Do we think they're going to play anything big? Probably not, right? So we just go Mobius hit monkey. We got to hope this is enough. That's awkward. Oh my god, the Mysterio won the game for us. Let's go. Okay, we chill. That's not good. Go with Angela here. Then we go Bishop. And then we hit Luke Cage mid. I might go Mysterio Hitmonkey over here. Because they might try to Doc Ock me somewhere. And this is good for, uh, you know, surprise later. And Jeff is like the perfect hit. Then we just play Sarah. Losing Shadow King's awkward. Maybe we move Jeff over here. Go Mobius Shang-Chi. I mean, this contests all three lanes at this point. Almost, almost a casserole, but uh, I'll take the win. Victory. Okay, let's go um, Kitty Pride on Aunt Maze here. We 
mean, that's pretty good. We go Angela Kitty Pride now. More eggs a bit awkward. Uh, maybe we just go Mobius here, just to play a card on curve. Um, I mean, we could just go do I want to try to compete with this Morbius? Go Kitty Pride of Luke Cage? Just to make them feel like they have to play more over here? Playing out a swarm usually means they don't have Modok in hand, right? And we hit him with Sarah. We have Luke Cage, so we could hit him with Shadow King. Right? To um, debuff the Wolverine. Then we can go Mysterio. Do I want to play for all three lanes here? I don't hate this. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, almost a casserole. If we had to play the real Mysterio here, I guess. Victory. So while making this video, we went seven and six, which is a 53.8% win rate. Sadly, we didn't get any cubes, but that's my fault. It's not the deck's fault. It's because there were two games that I stayed in that I shouldn't have for four cubes each. And um, that's my that's my problem. I have this sickness where I have to stay in games to see how they play out, even though I know I'm going to lose. Don't do that. If you retreat properly, this deck is really good and really strong. Just don't uh, don't take it out on the deck for my crappy stats, all right? <laughs> but try the deck out for yourself. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Hey, if you like this video, why don't you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and anyway, GG.